Hi Scorpio, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 12th to the 18th of October and I'm using a new deck. The deck is called the Star Tarot by Kathy McClelland and if you would like to see all the cards then have a look at the review. This is the second edition and I think it's much prettier than the first edition. And for the and welcome back my cyber angels, thank you for your likes and shares and welcome to the new viewers. Please subscribe and hit the bell on all and remember set your settings in the back of YouTube and in your mobile device. Do you not know how to do this? Then go and have a look under news and updates. There you will find the video explaining on how to do it. First of all, we start off with the Nine of Wands. Perhaps you have had a heavy time. Perhaps you've had a difficult time. But it's coming to an end because a nine is an ending. And where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. You are just resting at the moment and seeing what is happening around you before you take the next step in this new new beginning. To um, confirm this or analyze this, you've got the Knight of Cups. You might get an offer. This could be an offer of a job. This could also be a new passion or new love. You might be meeting a Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces. But news is also coming to you. So, wow. Perhaps you have just come through a divorce or finished a relationship and now you're ready for the next step, a new relationship. So perhaps somebody is offering you their love. And that is why you're pausing, uh, because you don't want to jump from the frying pan into the fire or from the fire into the frying pan, as they say. So perhaps that's why you are uh, casing uh, what is happening around you. Good on you. Don't do anything in haste because you have to repent in leisure. Okay. Then you have the lovers and that's why I said to you there could be a new love coming because you've got the cups, the knight of cups and that means news. And the lovers means that you might have met your soulmate. This could be a Gemini. The lovers represent Gemini. You've also got the Four of Cups, so offers are happening all around you, whether it's love or whether it's partnerships in love or business. Perhaps you might start up your own business with somebody else. The Four of Cups means that you might be is a little bit the same as the Nine of Wands, but you're more in your head or you might be depressed. Get out of that depression by taking action and seeing what is happening around you, not just in front of you. There is an offer there, only if you're willing to see it. On Friday, you have the Seven of Swords. Somebody might have been sneaky and left you high and dry and taken something with them that didn't belong to them. Perhaps that is what has been worrying you or being the traumatic thing. Perhaps you were uh, you were partnered up and somebody left all of a sudden and was sneaky about it or is being sneaky about it and you're worried what to do. Well, news will come, but I think there's also a new love coming because you have the key in your own hands. You are the magician. So long you be so long you are honest and transparent and create no illusions for others or for yourself, then you will be fine. You will get this new beginning as it is number one and you hold the key. You are the one that's going to take the decision. Is this offer for me? 
is this what I want because I've had a heavy period uh, recently or I'm, I'm just coming out of it definitely there is a new beginning and the magician represents Aries or Gemini okay so you could be meeting uh, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces Gemini, Gemini or Aries and remember karma does come back threefold so if somebody's done you wrong their karma will be coming back threefold if you were sneaky then karma will come back to you threefold so be careful but I've got a feeling it's somebody else there might be some delay though because you've got the hanged man and the hanged man means suspension so something is suspended or delayed this could be four hours four days four weeks or four months but like you you have the magician here you are creative enough to go through to this new beginning he is not forced to hang upside down he was bored and he hung himself upside down you can see that his hands are loose and free he's just trying to find out what uh, it feels like hanging upside down and meditating in a different position also trying to get a different perspective so here I this could be you trying to get a different perspective like I said taking a rest f before you take the next step okay now that is the, I the a beautiful hanged man it looks like an Indian god or goddess okay so perhaps you might be meditating and thinking about things like here and you are a thinker definitely but you don't think negatively think positively get your higher perspective you might be more sense you are sensitive because you are a water sign Scorpio perhaps you want to develop your spirituality your intuition your psyche because these are really spiritual cards it's funny that the hermit isn't here but you hold the key like I said with the magician so long you stay transparent and clear then nothing you've got nothing to fear the last card that you have is the four of wands you might be buying a home or you might be moving home and the four of wands is the wedding card as well you might be f forming partnerships like I said you might have meet your soulmate but you have to decide it might be delayed a little bit it could be you it could also be your partner potential partner but I think marriages on the cards or moving in together there will be celebrations perhaps you might be invited to a wedding or some kind of celebrations this doesn't have to be a wedding if you are partnering up in business then this could be uh, obviously the opening of the business celebrations and this partnership whether it's in love or in business is built on proper foundations because it's the four of ones and that is what it means as solid as a house you will look at the these in the back you've got the mountains with the summit you have reached your summit you have reached your goal you've taken your time about it you have persevered you didn't get and um, give up when times were difficult you just took a rest took time out perhaps take a small break and got another perspective so that you can carry on you're the magician after all you've done the magic so now it's coming true now for the card for TLC for the soul tender loving care you have sing your song 
Yes, you can sing your song. You've come a long way. Transform your worries into love notes for your divine friend to offer to the world. Let your deepest feelings inspire the composition of a new harmony. Recognize this as an other form of sacred expression of your soul's desire to remember the answers to life's most important question. Why am I here? Am I living according to the true nature? Am I offering enough love to a torn world? Inspiration is seeking you in order to transport your heart out of its slumber of forgetfulness into the beauty of your spirit's true song. This is a very spiritual reading. Wow. Sing your own song. Make sure you've got the right perspective, that you're standing solid on your, that you're grounded, that your chakras are clean. Awesome. And learn from the past. If somebody has not been sneaky, then this could be a warning that somebody might get sneaky or somebody is going to be sneaky. Balance definitely with two feet on the ground as solid as a rock. Patience. Have patience just now. The angels are working behind the scenes helping and supporting you. That's definitely sh for sure. Okay, just to recap it, you might be meeting your soulmate or you have met your soulmate and you're taking time out because there might have been um, some experience in the past that somebody's been sneaky and you've learned from it. You've come through hard times but you didn't give up, you persevered. You've got a different perspective of life. You can sing your own song. You don't have to have recognition from anybody else because you're the magician of your own life. And beauty and celebrations are coming to you as you are back in balance. Like the hanged man, he knows how to balance. Look how straight he's hanging upside down. And he can make himself loose, the same as you. You can choose to let go of the old to let in the new. Remember, you're the magician. I hope you have enjoyed this reading, Scorpio. Take care and stay strong.